Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I'm Big B. We got the Delta Force Vortex 24 Twin Motor Hydroplane Build on the block. Okay. Today, we're actually going to be reinforcing the transom of this boat. We got a lot of hardware hanging off the back, and uh, I want to I want to strengthen the the back of the boat uh, in case we flip it. A lot of leverage back here. We we could possibly break something. Uh, in the previous videos, we did the hatch locks. We made a servo motor mount, installed all the hardware. Well, got the hardware hanging anyway. So, stick around, Big B. We're not clear. <music> Originally, I wasn't gonna make this video. Okay. Um, but I was like, you know what? It's actually a pretty important topic. You know, uh, when you build a boat, you're hanging hardware. If you have like really long rudder brackets hanging off the transom and uh, big turn fins off the corners of your boat and trim tabs, you, you might want to consider reinforcing it. You know, uh, you can reinforce the transom a few different ways. You can use like a piece of carbon fiber. This is a two ply Venom carbon carbon fiber. It's um, 0.6 millimeters thick, and that would actually reinforce the transom actually pretty well. You could use like a piece of birch, you know, just put it up on the, the back of the boat, trace it out, cut it a little bit smaller, use a piece of birch you know soaked in epoxy and epoxied in the boat or you can uh, use a piece of carbon fiber fabric which is what we're going to do the reason I want to use the fabric so we're going to lay it on the transom right I want to overlap onto the top side and overlap onto the bottom of the boat you know that way well really really the top side mainly that will actually strengthen up this seam right here. We don't have to worry about that seam busting, busting open at any point when we're running this fast little boat. I know exactly what you're thinking, Big B. Why didn't you reinforce the inside before you drilled all these holes? And that's a good question. <laughs> uh, originally, wasn't planning on reinforcing it. Um, I was just going to kind of mount my hardware with some big washers and call it done. And uh, the reason I wasn't going to reinforce the transom is I was trying to keep the back of the boat light, you know. Uh, hence the reason why I didn't run my carbon fiber all the way up to the seam because I sure could have. I actually, uh, I went as, as, as light as I possibly could with the, the inlay and we're, we're going to try to do the same thing back here so, so we don't add a whole lot of weight you know so i'm gonna get all this hardware off i'm just gonna kind of get a rough rough estimate of the transom ain't gotta be perfect Basically, just gonna cut it out. I don't know, half inch bigger on the top and bottom. I don't think I'm gonna wrap the side around. Oh, I didn't cut the top bigger. Oh well. We'll just make it bigger on our fabric here. I think I got a piece of leftover fabric that should be perfect for this for this application. This is a. Uh, Venom Carbon brand. You get this on eBay. It's uh, 3K 12 2x2 two two, uh, 6 ounce 6 ounce fabric here. And this is the leftover from our inlay and that should be perfect right there. Always get questions what do I use to cut my fabric with these are just like a serrated style heavy-duty scissor okay and uh, 
it, it tends to work pretty good. So I'm basically just going to kind of cut an angle on both sides so I don't have a lot of, I don't really want a whole lot of weight. All right, and then I'm just going to cut this tape off so I don't have to try to peel it off in the boat. This is really bigger than I wanted to, to use on this boat. Okay, so I actually take this stuff right here and I'll cut it off the tape because peeling the tape off is impossible without, yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. So I take this and I put it in my, my scrap carbon fiber bin for little projects in the future. Install my motor mount and all that good stuff. I got my, my fabric cut out. It's actually a little bit bigger than I really want it. I really don't need that much especially down here so I may trim some of that off and put it in my little hairs bin you know because you got to figure the inside the inside of the transom smaller than that the, 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 the template we got from that transom all right so um, I got like a sanding sponge here I just basically glue a piece of sandpaper on some foam CA glue it on there or stick it on if you got sticky paper. We need to sand the transom. Get it roughed up, get it clean. You gotta clean it with, with either denatured alcohol or 90 the highest percent you can find rubbing alcohol. You know, clean it real good. Prep, prep, prep. If you're having a hard time getting the sandpaper in there or getting sandpaper in the corners. Get you like a file, you know, and you can actually scrape it. You know what I'm saying? Get in there with it flat and just pull it, pull it across the, the fiberglass epoxy, whatever it is, and scrape it. A lot of times, uh, that'll do the trick. You know, you want it to be kind of a flat surface to. To laminate it on all right once you got it all sanded clean it clean it really good clean the whole surface if you have holes in the transom just use some green green tape okay blue tape and tape it up I think I'm just gonna use a couple pieces of some cheap masking tape here. I'm making the executive decision to cut a little bit more off this piece. I don't want a whole lot of weight in my boat. So I've actually had a lot of guys in my comments say that you use half the weight of your car carbon fiber fabric so if the fabric weighs 10 grams you use 5 grams of epoxy so I got this thing zeroed out here so 3 grams of carbon fiber fabric so that's <laughs> a gram and a half of epoxy I don't think so <laughs> we'll mix up we'll mix up one to one it might even been one to one so we'll mix up three grams of epoxy all right i've been using this uh stainless steel serving dish or mixing bowl for about six or eight months now i usually just clean it out once i'm done so uh so that's two grams of resin one gram hardener this is a two to one mix
basically you're just going to wet this transom out. Since we don't have a lot of epoxy, I'm going to go ultra light with this wet out job. Just enough to stick the fabric down, I guess. You get your strength from the fabric. Epoxy don't do nothing but stick the fabric down, you know, and bond the, the fabric together. So, I mean, I get it. I I go super light with my layups. Nine times out of ten, super light. There are some occasions I go heavy with the epoxy, but uh, not many. Okay, so um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to bend this brush without breaking it. Oh, it broke. I used some hatch tape. <laughs> okay, so now. Now I can get the top side up here, which is really, really what I wanted to reinforce that, that seam, you know. I got a towel on the tip of my boat so it don't get scratched up on that brick wall. Man, that brick wall has put so many scratches on my boats in the past. I'm not even kidding. So you probably want to wear gloves. I've, I've been pretty good about not getting epoxy on my hands here lately. So we're going to set this in there. Um, I, I want the bottom just to overlap maybe this much because uh, I, I don't really want a big visual seam right there. So. See what I did? This right here is overlapped onto the top side. Okay. It actually looks like it needs to go over a little bit. So I'll try to, yeah, I just slid it over some. See how the bottoms overlap very little? Before you start dabbing epoxy on this, make sure you got it exactly where you want it. These long strings right here. I try to pull them off if I can because it makes the final layup look terrible. We used half of it, not even, maybe a quarter, a third of it, and we're going to finish it off, okay? So I'm out of epoxy, and it it feels like it's all wetted out. <laughs> believe it or not, believe it or not. So I'm just going to use what remaining epoxy I have left on my brush and in the boat to 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 wet, finish wetting it out. I, I I was about to mix up two more grams of epoxy, but I don't think I am. Just gonna use what I got here. Might as well. I wanted to keep it light. That's six grams of weight I put in it. That's super light. Got this little mirror. It looks like it's got some stains on it. All right, so that's the edge of my fabric up top. You can see how much it wrapped around. You see my hole here? All right. I've kind of felt in here, made sure it was laid down. It is. <laughs> yep whenever you're uh you know building the boat go in your kitchen and uh find your wife's you know best washcloth or a hand drying towel or whatever and and use that to uh to clean up your mess you know I don't think so. <laughs> oh i got caught <laughs> i got caught boys so i, I just used alcohol to wipe this thing down you know Anytime I pull out the epoxy, any, any time, you know, I go over my boat. It's actually a ritual. Actually, actually, this is something I always do. Right when I get one of my a new hull, uh, I actually wax it. I pull out the turtle wax and wax my hull. Uh, if you wax it, 
the epoxy's not going to stick to the hole quite as bad. If you do have a fingerprint, I've actually waxed my boat before a project and had a, a fingerprint that I missed on my boat and I was able to like kind of magic eraser, finagle, like, you know, scrub it off because after it had dried because I had actually waxed it. So during the boat building process, might be a good idea to wax your hull a couple times, you know, in between projects, motor mounts and battery tray, you know, installation and stuff. Just th throw a coat of wax on there. It won't hurt nothing. You know what I mean? Look, so it's actually the next day, all right, and our carbon fiber is fully cured back here. It looks really good. I can't get you, well, I guess you can see it on the top there. It rolled it over nice, and it really, it really did strengthen this back, back up back here, because I had flex like that back here, rolling that carbon fiber over. I think it's about right there, if I'm not mistaken. It really did strengthen things up. So, three grams of fabric, three grams of epoxy. That's six grams. Basically the same weight as four nuts, bolts, and washers. Okay, that's basically how much weight I put in the back of this boat doing that inlay. Okay? I really hope this video tutorial helps some of my viewers out. You know, uh, there's more than one way to skin a cat. You can use carbon Kevlar, carbon fiber fabric, panels, the wood. There's more than way, one way to do it. Wa big washers on the mounting screws. So uh, if you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, uh, ring the bell to get notified for part four to the build series. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Big B with Ironclad RC.